Welcome to the Fremontian! With polls and fun facts! Variety! Okay, is the clapping done? Hello and welcome to this week's Fremontian. My name is Ruben. And my name is Edward. You're not seeing double. Unfortunately, I have to share my spotlight with this guy because he was absent last week. Chill. I had important business to take care of and I need my grade. I don't really want to be here, but I just need a grade. Mr. Ray's is evil. Partnering partner me up with my mortal enemy. Mortal enemy? I thought we were best friends. Yeah, you keep on thinking that. Anyway, we got a job to do. Let's start the show. Edwin, I bet you pay to... You upgraded your card in Clash Royale, huh? What? I beat you last time was Mega Knight. That card's too OP, and you cheated. Run it back then. Bet. Well, I destroyed this guy. Let's go to the next clip. What? Destroy this guy? I said what I said. Roll it. <laughs> Hey guys, Pulls and Fun Facts here. Today, we're going to be covering the Clash Royale Tournament here at Fremont. Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Mr. Flores, and I'm currently teaching health. So, who, is, who organized the event? I'm organizing the Clash Royale Tournament. What brought you to this event? Well, I noticed that a lot of students here play Clash Royale which is actually a mobile game that I like to play. So I decided to uh, bring players together, uh, do a tournament, and the winner gets $20. When is the, when is the event taking place? This Wednesday, November 9th, uh, after school from roughly 3.30 to 5 o'clock. Anyone who has a Clash Royale account. And by when do they have a uh, You just show up the day of, and um, we'll do the brackets depending on how many, how many trophies each player has and then we'll set up the matches. Sweet. Come on guys, that's too easy bro. Anyways guys, that's all for Pose and Fun Facts today guys. See you guys next time. You might be wondering how we make this magic happen. Well, in this week's club segment, we're going to pull back the curtains behind the scenes and peek at what it takes to host this train wreck. That's right. We had cameras follow us all week, which was kind of weird. I don't mind. We better get used to it because after this show, we're going to be stars. Then the world's in trouble. Roll the tape. Hi, my name is Juan with the club segment. We're going to show you how our host team gets ready. Uh, my name is Ruben and I'm going to be the host for this week for the Fremontian. Uh, my name is Edwin. I'm going to be hosting with Ruben this week as well. Oh, well, the first thing we do is we go to different teams and ask them what they're going to do so we could base off our script. I was going to host last week, but there's a little issue. You ever? Mm -hmm. okay. Mr. Riz, I have a question. What's going on, boys? Uh, what team am I? Aren't you in clubs? Mm, no, I don't. Are you sure? I don't I've know. I always thought you were in clubs. I really don't remember. Ruben, aren't you in clubs? Uh, I'm actually in polls. You're in polls and fun facts? Yes. So we're not in the same team. Oh, so this is going to be some tough hosting then. It is. Do all, are all the teams caught up? Do they have their stories? Uh, no, they're no. actually behind. Oh, Very behind. lazy behavior. And we are losing a day this week. 
Okay, oh, no. so are you guys freaking out then? Of Indeed. course. I am too. Let's take care of business. Okay. Let's go. Okay. What are you guys doing? We're building our story. About what? Uh, Veterans Day. Mm. You sure? Because I don't see that on the screen. The responsibility of hosting is these type of people, they don't want to do their work, so I have to be very, very pushy. These type of people. <laughs> uh -huh. These hosts have it so easy. They don't know how to edit. They don't know how much time we have to put into this. Um, guys, please tell me you got something. We, we're short in on time for the Veterans Day. Unfortunately, we do not. Oh, well, please. <laughs> oh, what do you got? Nothing. So, see, this is a problem. We need to rush these kids to get our, our things done. And um, that's, that's what being a host is about. What's up with the host being all the same? Like, don't they know who I am, the top G? Anyways, we'll have it done by the end of the week, guys. Yeah, and the host really think that this is easy. They don't really do anything other than just talk about our video. They're just there. I don't know why it's so hard. It's like cheerleaders. What's up with the host? Why don't they ask me any questions? Do you have the football footage? Yes, sir. Did we win? Yes. All right, have fun. Yeah, yeah. Hi, my name is Adrian. I hope you like the how our host got ready for this week's Mountain. We salute to all the soldiers who fought for our freedom. To honor them, we have no school on Friday. That's right. Friday is Veterans Day. On the 11th month, in the 11th day, on the 11th hour. What's that? Jeez, Ruben. Read a history book, maybe? History? <laughs> Roll it, please. Hi guys, my name is Wendy, and this Friday there will be no school due to Veterans Day. This week we will be interviewing some of Fremont's very own veterans. Stay tuned! My name is Sergeant Major Romero Olmos. I am the Marine Instructor, so I work with Lieutenant Colonel Lathrop, and we train cadets in using a Marine Corps curriculum. So Veterans Day is a day that we can reflect on the service and sacrifice that those that have fought for this country, and so we can take time and salute them. Uh, to be a veteran, something that I never thought I would be growing up when I was your age. But now that I'm a veteran, retired from the Marine Corps and looking back, uh, you're a part of a brotherhood. You're a part of something bigger than you. So it's an elite club that uh, I'm grateful for being part of. A lot of positives for being a veteran. Just like I said, there's a network of people. There's brothers that doesn't matter where you go, how long, it's been since you've seen them. Uh, they're always willing to open up their door to you, take care of you if you're in need. Um, negative things, I think the biggest negative uh, thing being a veteran is I think a lot of people assume if you've deployed overseas that you're automatically some sort of PTSD case or unstable person. Well, I think a lot of the public is not aware of what the military actually does and I think as a veteran it is our job to go out and tell our story and that's what Veterans Day does. It gives us that opportunity to tell our story. People are more likely open to want to listen to you on that day. I think veterans like to be known for just somebody that stepped up and heeded the call when the country needed them or somebody that stepped up and tried to be a better citizen for this country. Hi, Vanessa Fonseca. Thank you for watching today's video. Shout out to all of our veterans. And if we did not interview you and you are a veteran, we deeply apologize. We want to say thank you for your service and see you next time. We just finished celebrating Dia de los Muertos. Did you see the altars outside during lunch? Yeah, I did. I find it nice that people in our community are celebrating their culture. Oh, wait. Didn't you have to make an altar for a project? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Sorry, Miss Flores. Hi, I'm Evan. Today we're going to be talking about Dia de los Muertos. Hope you enjoy. Bye.
Hi, my name is Karim and I'm a sophomore. Um, I made an altar for my for my class. I think yeah, she gave us a project and I made one on my uncle. On the altar, I put some flowers and some food and like things the my uncle liked when he used to live. Yeah. My name is Elvis and I'm a sophomore. Uh, I think I think Dia de los Muertos is like it's like a celebration like of like like the the loved ones that passed away. Um, a lot of people think it's like a sad thing or like or that it's like scary, but like it's more happy. Like like the loved ones that passed away, like like the natives believe that they're in a better place right now. So it's it's just it's just to honor them and to remember the ones that passed away, basically. Um, so basically, uh, I made an altar and like, uh, I made an altar and I put a picture of like my grandma on it and like I put like, like other stuff on it to like, like stuff that she liked to eat, you know, just to like remember her and you know, I just made it, I just decorated it and, and yeah, and that's, that's basically it. Hi, my name is Marissa. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. It's time for your favorite segment. It's time for sports, sports, sports. Sports, sports, sports. For that, we have our very own Jimena. Jimena, everyone. <laughs> Why am I the only one who does sports? You know, there's Joanna. There's Angel. There's Juan Jr. Get that cover off my face. There's Jonathan sometimes. And there's Antasia. Why me? Why only me? So how are you doing, Jimena? Did you not hear what I said? <laughs> um, no. Sports, sports, sports! Our football team won their first playoff game against Maywood High School with a score of 47-32. to Not bad for their first home game. Let's check out this game's reaction. So I feel like it's both teams me. came out pretty aggressive. Um, I feel like both teams weren't ready to let go of their season. So it was a fight, but it was also a crazy atmosphere. Um, the fans were really supportive on both sides. And it was just an overall good game. Um, we came out victorious, so that's what really matters. And yeah, I feel like both teams played really well. It was, at first it was a little crazy because I thought we was about to lose and then we started picking up the pace. And then right when we was coming to the scene where the football players was running through the little poster we made for them, I was a bit nervous because like I thought they was about to fight while we was holding it up and like knock me and the other girl down. It's still me? Oh my God, mister. Fine. Now for our story of the day, Angel catches up with the girls basketball coach. She had a really interesting life because of basketball. Roll the clip. Hello, my name is Angel. And this is what I do. Let's talk to the girls basketball coach. Coach D. Rowan, I am, the, I am a PE teacher here at John C. Fremont. I am also the girls basketball coach. I've been playing basketball since I was in seventh grade. Grew up playing it with my brother in our front yard and I just, fell in love with the game and it's provided so many opportunities for myself, um, traveling, meeting new friends, um, and being here today at this moment because of basketball. Just to give back and inspire girls, again, I've been around the game since seventh grade and I love, um, I love coaching, I love the game, I love being around the game and I love inspiring, encouraging and motivating and just helping young women. A typical day is the girls coming out in their practice uniforms, um, going through their warm up by themselves, and then just whatever we need to work on that day, that's what we're going through that day. But it looks like a lot of hard work. Um, our communication is improving, so we're making some noise in the gym. That's a good thing. So it looks like hard work and fun. I just try to be encouraging and positive at all times, and I give feedback um, at the end of every practice. The requirements to join the basketball team here at John C. Fremont is hard work and being a hard worker and having a good attitude. So effort and attitude are the two things, the only two requirements to join. If you're interested, please come see me in the PE office and we will welcome you with open arms. What does it take to be a good coach? A lot of patience, prayer, positivity, and motivation.
I'm so excited about this upcoming season. The girls have really committed and locked in and dedicated themselves to basketball. And we are coming together as a team and it's really a beautiful thing to see and watch. I'm very excited and encouraged about this season. Our first game is November 15th here at John C. Fremont. The game is at 4.30. Please come support us, come in the stands, cheer for us, support us, encourage us. Um, November 15th and November 17th, our first two home games. Um, come check us out and we look forward to seeing you. You heard it here first. Their first game is on November 15th at 4.30 p.m. Come check it out. Can y'all edit that out? Don't do me like that. Well, that's our show. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing Veterans Day. And remember, on the 11th hour of the 11th day, um, of the 11th month, that's when we remember. Wait, we actually won? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> One second. Oh, yep. and happy... Wait. Uh, yep. Bye. Yeah. And happy... Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Marine Corps. Happy uh, birthday. Oh, and good luck to our football team. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>